B.A. Bellick back with another entry in my Storyteller of the Month series. This time around, I have Greenwood. I want to thank Christy, Instagram handle Reading with Christy, for gifting me this book back in February, and Selena, Instagram handle Beauty's Library, for organizing the book exchange. Before we get into the book itself, let's take a look at the author. Michael Christie was born in Thunder Bay, Ontario, then moved to Vancouver, B.C. to pursue skateboarding. He also studied psychology and spent time as a carpenter, then social worker, before going back to school to earn a Master of Fine Arts from UBC. One of the neat things I uncovered was that he has been awarded multiple grants from the Canada Council for the Arts to develop his novels, which is awesome as I too am thankful for the help of the Canada Council for getting this very YouTube channel launched. Hashtag bringing the arts to life. Today, Michael lives on Galliano Island with his wife and two sons, where he put his carpentry skills to work and built the timber frame house they live in. Michael owns a rare honor. He is a three-time Giller Prize long-listed author. The Giller Prize is the most prestigious book award in Canada, and this long list is a feat only a few authors get to experience each year. Getting there three times is rare. What blew me away when I did my research was that his wife is also a Giller Prize long-listed author. And there is a stirring post on Michael's Instagram with a bit of the backstory. Wow. Two Giller Prize long-listed authors under the same roof. Keep doing what you two are doing. Anyways, now for the book I read, Greenwood. What is it about? Greenwood is a family name, and this novel is classified as a multi-generational family story. The plot is structured like we are observing the growth rings of a tree. We start in 2038, where Canada has become the most desirable place to live after a mass plant extinction event turned most of the world into a giant dust bowl. With each subsequent part, we go one generation into the past, telling the story of the previous character's parent, seeing Seeing the warning signs of a society on the edge of a disaster through the actions and thoughts of this nesting doll of a family. We eventually come to the beginning of the family story, which is in the middle of the novel, and from there we journey back to the future part by part, getting our resolutions. Themes of legacy, societal collapse, climate change, and industrial greed litter the pages and interconnect with the ambitious plot and characters. Michael Christie also brings beautiful descriptors to his four scenes and paints trees with a sparkle that makes them always stand out when they hit the pages. He goes another level and has his trees guiding metaphors for withering, weathering, and survival. So this one was tough for me to rate. When I pick up a traditionally published book, I have a high bar, and I think rightfully so when I see 10,000 reviews on Goodreads. I am expecting an elite product because the author has access to tools and resources many indies don't have access to. I also know Greenwood is grant-funded, and the Canada Council grants are public record, which again brings another level of polish and budget to the project. Knowing lots of the behind the scene of self-publishing versus traditional publishing, I am looking for complete balance to get five stars from me on a trad pub. Greenwood is a fantastic book. There are vivid moments that burn into your mind and the circular plot is fun to absorb. The 2038 starting section was a standout. It caught my attention and hooked me. Even 2008 was still strong but I found the middle 30% to drag a bit for my taste. It was almost too character driven. I wanted a touch more action. I also felt the return to 2038 at the end was rushed. More from that ending would have gone a long way to satisfy me coming off the sprawling middle section. I gave this four stars. This was a painful four stars because it's so close to five stars. I thought about this one for three weeks before I wrote the review. Ultimately, I have mad respect for this novel and Michael as an author, and the scope of this story is insane. I would absolutely read whatever Michael publishes next, but that middle pacing and rush ending is what brought this down a star. This speaks to the subjectivity of reviews. The plot and characters of Greenwood are masterfully complex and get a 6 out of 5 for sure, but the action pacing resolution after the first 20% was on the slow end for my taste, and that's what made this book tough to score. If you like character-driven story, this is a must. If you like doing family tree deep dives on Ancestry.com, 
This book does that on the pages. What you are doing in your mind when looking at Ancestry.com is basically what Michael Christie put on the pages. Lastly, having traveled Canada and being Canadian myself made this more enjoyable. And Christie paints a gorgeous West Coast, which is where he lives now, while still managing to bring a few mentions of the prairies and smaller cities. This is a must-read book for Canadians. I don't regret the read at all, and thanks again to Christy and Selena for getting a copy of this over to me. Congrats to Michael and his wife Cedar for their amazing accomplishments. I am deep into editing my Pulse sequel and should be able to put some key dates on the calendar near the end of the summer. Really excited to get this book to beta and surprise you all yet again. As always, stay safe, keep those minds sharp, and happy readings.